Hello everyone. In this quick tutorial, we're going to show you how to install Cyberfox Web Browser. This is an updated uh, video t tutorial on Cyberfox installation, as a lot of changes has happened since the last one was created. So let's get started. Uh, Cyberfox comes in two different types. You got one for AMD systems, one for Intel systems, and you can. Uh, use them on both or you can select the one that we have designed for your system. Now let's once you've downloaded the uh, the installer you want to double click on the installer confirm the uh, security uh, UAC prompt you'll be faced with a language selection here if you need to select your user um, your native language you can select a language for purposes of tutorial we're just going to use English and we're going to click OK now you'll see the uh, setup wizard, uh, the initial landing page. It'll um, just basically tell you the version here. And let's begin. So let's click next. Here you'll see a license terms and agreement. Just be sure to read and accept the agreement. Click next. Here you'll see a um, change log version history where you can have a look at uh, all the latest uh, uh, items that we've added and fixed. And, and all those sorts of things. Uh, this is also available on our website as well. You can click next. Here's where you can browse for a directory you'd like to install Subfox to. Uh, default it will be the program file Subfox. Or um, if you're installing the um, Subfox 32 bit on a 64 bit machine, it'll be su uh, C Subfox Pro. Uh, It'll be C program files x86 slash subfox. Please forgive the uh, tongue twister there. Okay, so click next. Here is uh, where you can uh, create your start menu entries. You can also change the name of the folder if you so choose. Or you can select don't create a start menu folder at all. Click next. Here you have uh, additional options. Uh, uh, option to create a desktop shortcut. If you leave this checked, it's going to install CyberCTR, which is basically uh, an add-on which adds extra features and functionality and allows you to choose from Australis and classic uh, style um, user interface. Or if you uncheck it, it will install the vanilla Australis style with no additional features. Um, here for the start page color, if you leave this unchecked, you'll end up with the dark style homepage. But if you check this option, you'll get the light style homepage. Click next. Here is where you can review your options before you continue with the install process. So just double check that you've selected and that it's going to do everything you've selected. And then you click install. Now it's going to install the files. Once that's done, you're faced with the end of the installation wizard and you have the option to set as default web browser and launch Subfox. You can launch Subfox or you can launch and set as default browser. You can do as you choose here and click finish. Now you have successfully installed Subfox web browser. I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions or queries, please be sure to use the contact form on our main site or use our support forums. Thank you for your support and feedback. We hope you have a good evening or a good day. Thank you. Goodbye.